Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today we're playing some more randomized roguelands with Salvador, the gun zerker. I've yet to get a successful randomized Salvador running. I'm really close with a run where I had double untapped heralds. Which is pretty, pretty fun. Incendiary Relic off the staff, off the staff, off the rip. <laughs> off the staff. That's, that's what I like to say. Off the staff. That might be my new first saying when I jump in here. It's been a full day since recording. I took a full day off recording yesterday, which was Sunday. Today is now Monday. Oh, that's a nice launcher. Yeah. Like that. Um, And actually, I went to a family baptism and then a family first birthday party. So... I'm all kinds of uh, kid uh, related events up and at them. Let's see what we get here. Raving Retribution is actually going to be really, really nice in combination with something like Do or Die from Axe and Skill Tree. Because um, Raving Retribution, while you're on fire taking damage from enemies, well, you have to be on fire to make it happen, though. Which I could take delusional damage. Do I have like Burn Baby Burn or something like that to really ramp it up? No, I don't. Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to keep myself on fire for that long, but we do have Scorn. We do have Scorn for extra grenade damage. I think this 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 could be okay. Let's start off then. Oh, interspersed outburst, five points off rip is gonna be really, really nice. Let's take that first. That way I, I can officially just have slag on basically everything that I do from the very beginning of the game. Very, very nice. All right, so let's see. Let's use this double barrel, double barrel T-Door shotgun. And let's get it a little bit more organized here. Two shotguns on the small map. I think it's going to be best for us. There you go. I'm going to start spinning now. There we go. Come on, go down. These shotguns are not the strongest in the world. Look at, look at how much look at how little damage they're doing. Could go for crits. There we go. Once the first two are down, though, we get all the XP loaders in this area. Later, kiddo. Don't let them hit you. I'm going to go, go grab this pressure plate because I'm, I'm looking for high damage weapons. I don't really have any. Uh oh, HP loader was not prepared for. That's okay. My shield's fine. I saw. I thought I saw one good gun in there. I thought I saw one good one. This yeah, this diamond development, perfect. And then a bank stick. I'm not too sure if I want to be using that. This diamond development seems good. In combination, would say this right here. It's SMG. There we go, much higher damage. Very good. A little bit lucky draw to get these gun loaders off the start. Oh, EXP loader. Juke. Nicely done. Nice. I don't know what my grenade is. Let's check it out. It's just a regular lobbed Merv. Okay. Come on, get me up there. Gotta juke these guys out. See you later. Oh, okay. There we go. 10 out of 10. Super easy. Did the door open over there? I'm not sure if it did. A spinny gun? Uh, I'm not so sure. We're looking for things that can synergize with interspersed outbursts. And maybe a, a, a Snyder could be good. Okay, so... I mean, delusional damage. It can light us on fire, but we still have a way... Oh, we do have burn, baby, burn. We could definitely go a Hellborn Creek build. Yeah, Hellborn Creek could go pretty insane with Blight Phoenix to constantly be dotting enemies. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous about it, but you know what? What's life without a little bit of risk? Let's go delusional damage. Elemental empathy as well. 
I don't really have a fire damage weapon yet to really make this pop, or even a corrosive damage weapon, but... If we can get there, we can to we can definitely pop off, I think. Let's see. I have an incendiary damage relic. The max health relic is probably better. Let's see how we do here, though. Nice launcher. Okay, now we got double launchered up. What's in here? It looks like shields. How about an adaptive? There's a nice adaptive. Let's take that one. Okay. We're good. Let's keep it moving. Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. Is this going to be my second? No, okay. I was going to say, this is going to be my second robot map in the robot. I feel like robot maps are a little bit of a low roll in the early game, but... Okay, launcher damage or SMG max ammo? I think I might just want to rock the max health right like here. It's a pretty big boost. Go down, homie. Come on. Nice. Still haven't lit myself on fire at all. Well, I'm not sure if it is possible that burn may be burn. Oh, well, we're doing our best here. <clears throat> Might take a long time for this build to get up and running, which is a kind of a bad thing because I need the damage. I'm hoping to get a really high-powered grenade or weapon that can kind of carry me. Come on, go down, homie. This thing does not have a big max size. I don't have a good enough grenade. Let's just toss one. Yeah, look at that. It's just, it doesn't do that. Oh, actually, that did pretty good damage to this elevating skag. Nice. Eat that. And eat that. If it, I think out of all the characters that can benefit from a Krieg-related elemental build, um, Salvador is the one in my mind that works the absolute best. I still, I still don't have a single fire weapon or anything like that. Uh-oh. Bust some of these bad boys out. Hopefully kill all those laddies before they become fire laddies. Too late. Okay. Destroy you. Destroy you. There you go. Round over. Let's see. Pistol gun damage. Reload. Max health. How much max health is this? How much does it give me? Let's check. It's a tiny bit. Ooh, a ravager. Let's do that. Um... This, I don't have any skills that are getting buffed by that class mod. How about this one? Nope. And what about... I don't think I have EPKA or Last Longer. Yeah, I don't really have any actions um, or Salvador skills at all. Yeah, so that's kind of tragic. I think Reload Speed Magazine Size is probably the best. If I had to guess. And sorry to keep jumping in and out of the menus like that, but... Blood explosion. We have really good synergies. I think I need to get down in this tree quite a bit to make it work. To get burn, baby, burn. A chance to light yourself on fire when igniting an enemy. I think having Blight Phoenix will get me to start doing dots all around me, which will which will help me ignite enemies a lot faster and easier. Let's see. Reload speed magazine size, it's... The more increases in that I can get, the better. And we also, we are going to grab this pressure plate behind this rock over here. But dum bum 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 ba dum Cooldown rate is probably goaded with the sauce. If I had to guess. So let's just take it and keep it in our inventory for now. We have the upgraded backpack mod, or the expanded backpack mod on, so I can plug and play as I wish. Corinthian. Okay, now we have some weapons. A quad. Okay. We can go... Quad and bushwhack. I mean, quad and... Uh, and ravagers are a really nice combo. I'm not going to be doing any dots to anybody, but... 
I mean, when I said I wanted some strong weapons in the early game, this is, you know, not exactly what I envisioned, but it seems okay. Let's climb up here. And then grab this red chest up top. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Trash. Oh, I get three shots with this bad Larry, too. That's nice. But yeah, I think Ravagers and Quads, they're super, super nice when you can ex extend your magazine size. Okay, let's do it. Next. Thank you. Next. To the southern shelf we go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. To the southern shelf we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's some damage right there. Not bad. Yep, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Alright, let's have my, my guns are timeouts. Still nothing corrosive at all. Let's see. Nope. You wish moving and grooving. Up up here, and we're gonna pop this guy with our, with our quad. There we go. Interspersed outburst plus a quad is good amount of damage. Hey. Thank you. Oh, that's a whiff. That's a whiff. That's a whiff. That's a whiff. Don't end my run. Don't end my run. Don't end my run. Oh, you'd be down. Wow, the scavenger is so tanky. What the heck? Thank you. All right, what do we get from here? Cooldown ray or incendiary damage? I think cooldown ray is going to go pretty nuts. Get some of my health back. There we go. This could be this could be we go down angle. Yep, we go down. This guy should stay within range of me though. Go. Oh, good round over. Very strong round. Right, going down this right side skill tree, I think immolates for when we go down, and then no kill like overkill. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of bloodlust synergy. Holy cow! No kill like overkill, and then then nervous blood for the reload speed. And we also have blood filled guns. Like we have, we're basically playing Krieg. But as Salvador. And I feel like Salvador does way, way better with Krieg's skills. Oh, a Pushka, perfect. Does way, way better with Krieg's skills than Krieg does, at least with the, the gun builds. So hopefully we can make it through. That's why I'm using this quad in Ravager. Perfect. Perfect uh, slag weapon to get right there. For now, I want to stick with the double high powered shotguns, but. I'm hoping to get like a super good synergized. Okay, we got Oni off this round, which shouldn't be too bad for us. Hopefully, I can't see anybody. Go down. Thank you. This utilizing, uh, relying on Gunzerk for our healing right now. What's this? I might want to wait for Gunstar to be back up before I take on Oni. So we'll start slowing down my, my my clear here just a tiny bit. Get out of here. Get some of that shotgun ammo back. Okay, they're all chilling over there. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go clear out a little bit of this uh, loot. Maybe they'll push into that room next to me. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I want them to push. I don't want to have to fight there. Woman burn grenade, perfect. Where are you going? There we go. Come on, yeah, you guys push up. Chook City. Oh wow, I'm deflecting bullets and it's taking up my. What's deflecting? Oh gosh, come on now. Here we go. Come closer, you. I don't want to chase after you. This guy's playing at max range. I'm looking at the mini-map. Look at this guy. This guy's a joker. Let's go ahead and blast him with a... Corinthian sniper rifle. This Oni fight is going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, let's do it. Um, 
I think this rocket launcher, the shock one's gonna be good. Okay, here we go. And look at the shock rocket launcher out there, and then let's grab my my slag SMG. Come on now. Oh, uh, that's this is the wrong two weapons. Okay, let's get the burning grenade out there. Once we get down to just Oni, it's a lot more manageable. Okay. Both those two guys back there. Good. Okay, they're still alive. They're still alive. Not bad. Stay back. Oni resisted the, uh, the explosive damage weapon, so we go back to our quad. How's that guy in the back still alive? There we go. Ah, oh, gosh, man. He does too much damage. Good launcher, though. That's a strong... That's a strong showing from this launcher. Holy cow. Kind of back here a little bit. Go back into this spot. Where's my slaggity slag slag? Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Not good. Not good at all. Go down. Alright, I'll, I'll add a rocket launcher ammo now. Let's go for the pistol and slap on the pistol gun damage. That should help us a lot with this fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Veritas, come on, homie. I was hoping for something a little bit better than that. Okay. Back to the reload speed and magazine size. We got through Oni. That's about all you can ask for that. And five points. Let's head into... Shack and Ah. Do or die. Blood explosion. Holy cow, it's a lot of one-point wonders. No kill like overkill. I need to get down to this skill tree. I need to get down further. Let's do blood overdrive, I guess. I can respec whenever I want, which is a nice thing. The one thing I don't have is um, numb nerves to give me damage reduction while I'm on fire, which is a, probably a big part. Will never write plus 42 and Malawan damage? Okay. This is the last oil can. There we go. Looking for a big adaptive shield. Ooh, a, a, a decent transfusion there. Turtle shield, amp shield, no. What we really want to get is a an adaptive shield for more max health. Hey, decent. I needed those rockets. Needed those rockets for sure. What you got for me? More corrosive damage. All right, next stage. Let's see. Let's hope we get something easy. Layer of infinite agony. Okay, I think we might go back to the, the pistol gun damage. Wherever that may be. The game really doesn't want me to pick the right one as it's hovering the exact opposite ones. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Come at me. Are you really heal juice off rip? I have never quite seen that strat before from this lad. Heal juice off rip. That's crazy. Let's keep it going. Oh yes, we've got grenades going now. I'm on fire. I am on fire. Oh nice damage right there. Oh blue power up too. We'll grab that next time. I'm so slow. <laughs> All right, get rinsed. Oh my gosh, we're actually one-shotting all of them. Yes! It's starting to come together. We have increased grenade damage. One thing I don't have is blood bath, which is which would be absolutely insane. I am on fire. Very nice. Yes. Okay, now let's grab this bad boy. Aim. And fire. Can't quite see what I'm aiming at. 
Go. Go into your immunity phase. Oh, nice heal juice, homie. Oh, didn't that quite work out, did it? Okay, I definitely did. Dang it. Hey, go to the other side. I don't like you anymore. I don't like you anymore. Oh, nice little red power up too. That's that's definitely gonna help out. Good. Yeah, we saw Krieg's actions or Krieg's uh, raving retribution skill pop off right there. Let's see. I see all the, all the grenades going out. These homing grenades. What's that? Homing pandemic? Yeah, that's gonna be really really nice. Well, not for this stage, it's not. But for stacking up bloodlust, it's probably absolutely perfect. All right, let's go. It should get the kill here. One more shot. There we go. Very clean. Yeah, she kind of got wrecked. I mean, the one thing about this fight is that you get a ton of power-ups. Okay, so... I need to get down to burn, baby, burn. Can't quite get there yet. This... Uh, oh, there's an orphan maker. I see that. A oh, Rough Rider! Perfecto. Um, Orphan Maker could go pretty hard. I can put it in my left hand. It can be my little pop damage that I need. Now, some Tiny Tina class mods could go pretty insane if we get the right kind. What kind I'm looking for, I'm not exactly sure, but I know that they're special and have... Good, oh, a doll minigun. This, I'm just collecting all the different kinds of, of fire damage weapons. Okay, come on now. No, that's tough. Okay, let's just go next. I'm not, I'm not even gonna open that one. Let's go. The Rough Riders are good to get. We're gonna hit up the box for some decent weapons here. Good. Legendary Gunzerker. Legendary Titan. I think... The Titan will outperform the Gunzerker here. Hector's Paradise and Loaded Maggie. That's tough. Come on. Show me something good. More class mods. Let's see. Legendary Berserker. Let's see. How, how many points does this give us? Hmm. Just those. And then how much? Just that one for Insight. And this gives us insight as well, so I think we just go for this one instead. I need to get down the burn, baby, burn. What do we get, though? Depending on what boss we get, I'm going to change up my, my strategy. Let's go one in pistol and one in launcher. Let's go. Oh, Michael, what do you get? An e tech weapon. Plasma caster. Asking you shall receive. It's a doll one, though. That's okay. From the hip, I think it fires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I think this also gets grenade damage scanlings as well. Terramorphous? Mmm, tough. So, for this fight, I would say... Maybe even a Maggie goes pretty hard. But all my fire damage is kind of wasted. I do have corrosion damage on this Pushka. Let's just start with a little bit of slag and bag with these two SMGs. See how much damage we can get off. Come on. There we go. And now we're going to have to swap to... We're going to have to swap to something a little bit more practical for taking out these bad boys. Sniper should be fine. Biggest problem with the Pushka is its ammo consumption. Because I didn't get, grab any SDUs. Okay. Not bad. Shouldn't be the easiest fight in the world for me. Whoa, chill out. I need to toss a transfusion grenade out. Go get him. If we run out of ammo with this, I, I have pistol options as well. It's just going to be a little bit of a grind here. I need something more damaging. Maybe a Ravager gets the job done? Let's try Hector's Paradise. It's just that they resist. 
With Gunzerk, we should do a, a decent amount of damage. Come on, let's get there. Hey, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Get me there. Just, just keep, just keep getting, doing the deeps. Okay. Excess Paradise does good grenade damage scalings as well. We can use this with our do or die skill from Action Skill Tree to pump up our grenade damage. There we go. Nice. We're doing okay. Okay. The only problem with this fight is that he's. He gets harder and harder to kill because he does more and more damage the longer the fight goes on, so. We really gotta start killing these guys as fast as we can. We, we have been, but. Come on. Okay, of course, I pop my. Plus this. We should be on our last goes here. Okay, not bad. Don't hit me. Thank you. Let's go for you. Is he gonna live here? No, he doesn't live. Alright, I got a little bit of Blight Phoenix. I can try to ding him up. I know I could have blood exploded, but I don't think you can blood explode this guy. I could definitely be wrong about that. Okay. Now let's swap to our plasma caster. And where's our bandit for slagging? There we go. Come on now. Go down. It's actually, we're doing pretty good damage, to be honest. Good. The damage reduction is coming in clutch. Come on, get me there, Plasma Caster. Get me there. Mm, need to toss a Transfusion Grenade. Maybe one more. When he slags, he takes a lot more damage. Reload. Running out of Blammo. Good, we hit land some crits, land some crits. He's getting lower, but not as low as I want him to be. I'm out of grenades. I need to go pick up some ammo. Grab some of this. Blammo. Bust that grenade out. And this is a tough fight. Really tough fight. Okay, that's a decent amount of ammo right there. Bust this down. Is he still not doing so much um, Nova damage? Which is good. There we go. Get my slag up. Where's my slag chance? Come on. There it is. Come on, slag him. We're trying our, our absolute best to put this guy down. Come on. This could be the end, though. This could be the end with the aftershock. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Heal me, heal me, transfusion. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Don't take too much damage. I need to, I need to have a little bit of health left over. Okay. I think we're gonna get... We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Nice. Oh, we did it. Ooh, I was getting close for comfort. Wow. Okay. Ooh. We made it. Let's see, what do we get for grenades? Explosive fastball. Very good grenade. Let's see. A toothpick. Exceptionally strong. Assault rifle. Really, really strong assault rifle. Especially because it's fire. 
And we can make the fire damage work. Okay. With the Rough Rider too, this could have juice. Yeah, and it shoots decent from the hip. Okay. You might have the juice this run. Let's go. Oh, what, what do I get from my inventory? Two... Dang, I was going to say two... I already had the best shield probably with the Rough Rider, so I really don't want any other kind. Oh, man. A tough first raid boss, but we made it through. He was getting, getting a little bit scary there. Not a bad tier one. Oh, what a... Oh, come on. As long as we don't die from when we fail. Okay. There we go. We're up. Tier 2, we're coming at you. We need to be focusing. The number one thing we need to be focusing for now is finding Borderlands symbols on the walls because they have the high chance to drop us the Mouthwash Relic. The mouthwash Relic would send us to the moon. It, it synergizes with the Toothpick Assault Rifle. Okay. So, let's do this right here. Let's get a respec in. And I want to get down to burn, baby, burn. So, set down this skill tree. A couple points here, and then nervous blood. And then burn, baby, burn. There we go. Raving Retribution, Elemental Empathy. And then we'll, we'll head down this skill tree next. Now let's go. So now I can light myself on fire a lot easier. And let's make sure we're nice and organized here. Let's go for... This should be fine. Something corrosive down beneath. Okay, let's go. Good. So I'm on fire already, which is good. Now my homing skulls will go out and start damaging enemies. Go get them. Not bad. This guy's trying to light. This guy's lighting me up with some with some high damage. But with my elemental empathy, I should be okay. Okay. Not bad. Elemental Empathy. Heal me back up, please. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're starting to feel a little bit. Come on. Get us there. Where's my Gunzerk? Where's my Gunzerk at? There we go. We're good. I think, honestly, a homing pandemic would probably heal us up a little bit better than anything else. Oh, he's gonna be a badass Goliath now. No matter. No matter. We kill him anyway. Good. Nine out of ten. Oh, we're start this is we're starting to feel a little bit here. Come on, reload. We're gonna we're gonna have better reload speed. Yes, okay. And we are on fire, but look how little damage we take from our own dots, which is crazy. On top of here, there's a pressure plate I wanna get. Okay, so five points. We're going to go delusional damage for one. Shock and awe. Elemental empathy. Blood-filled guns. Now we now we can start stacking up our... Our bloodlust stacks. Let's go. Let's do a grenade jump. Up. Ah. That's right. I know where things are at. Okay, so... Pick that. Should be all we need. And the borderline symbols over here as well. Mouthwash would go crazy because right now what do we, we do have incendiary damage? But I'm rocking max health, which which might be better. What is this? Extra shot chance? Why did I get it already? Yeah, I did. Where's the other one? Is there no other one? Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Cooldown rate is good too. Hmm. Max, is it max health or is it? Oh my gosh, a Nirvana. 
a Nirvana from just a regular chest? Am I... Am I dreaming? Very good. So, so that was the first round we actually got to feel the power of what this build can do. I just don't know if the Nirvana is going to outperform the toothpick. It's a definite, definitely good side option. Okay, so... Can we just... Can we force our way through with an incendiary damage rifle here? I think it's going to be mostly health enemies. Even though it is uh, opportunity. I think this mostly is health enemies. But let's get our pandemic out. Here we go, pandemics. Pandemics all around. Yeah, I'm corroded. I don't want to be corroded. There we go. Not bad. 3 out of 10. Look at how much damage we're pumping out now. Can we just ignore the uh, the armor? We're going to try. Hey, stop shooting at me. Oh, gosh. Go for this guy. I'm really low on HP. I need to get some pandemics out. Hey, he's got my point down, but we're okay. Right? Surely we're fine? Yeah, we're fine. 9 out of 10. Good. Sergeant loader. Nice. Okay, so the pandemics are taking care, I think, of all these other all these other lads. Okay, so go here. Let's go one point in hard to kill. One point blood explosion. One point and come at me, bro. Oh my gosh, this is it. Now going Fire Fiend isn't the way. Pressure, reload speed, and shield charge light based on how much health you have. The lower your health, the higher the damp bonus. That's gonna be good. Scorn for slag. Metal Storm. Embrace the Praying is going to be ins so, so insanely good, too. Okay. We are looking... We're actually looking really, really strong. Oh, Borderlands symbol. I saw it. Go grab that first. Alright, come on. Something juicy. I'll switch in. Where has... Where have I... Where are my second relics going? Is it falling to the ground underneath or something? I think it might have gone to the other side. I don't know. It's just, it's completely cutting my chances in half. The B shield just sitting on the ground over here. That's ridiculous. Okay. But we're sticking with the Rough Rider. No questions asked about that. The pandemic is gonna be probably the number one grenade for stacking up levels in the entire game. I'm sec. I can just toss these lads out, and they will just stack up and give me all my bonuses. Wow, a Goliath blaster! I live. I live right through that. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I I put I, I put on a pretty trash. Yeah, bandit damage. No thanks. Let's do go back to max health. And then let's honestly put on a Nirvana. Let's go Nirvana. Nirvana Plus right here. Okay, let's just stick to our Nirvana. The amount of, the amount of healing I'm gonna get from my own empathy is gonna be ridiculous with this thing. There we go. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. There you go, Pandemics. Go out there and get them. We are pretty low on HP. We have been this whole round. That's okay. Don't expect to be high HP all the time. There we go. Yeah, that's that's really good. Things are going very, very well. Um, What do I want here? I don't... This right side tree is completely done. I can, I can stay in the middle and left now. Let's go for pressure, because I want to get Scorn. If I can get Scorn, I no longer need... Once I get Scorn, I'm no longer going to need any sort of slag weapon. I can just stick with these two insanely good fire damage weapons. Unfortunately, I don't think I can... Um, I don't think I can make the argument to take off my max health relic for the incendiary damage, even though the incendiary damage would pop. I don't think I could do it. 
I'm, I'm also gonna search for this borderland symbol. Borderland symbol me. Oh, over the edge. I still think that grabbing mouthwash or toothpick would go crazy. Okay. Nothing good in here. Would the if we do get that incendiary damage relic, it's up there. Um, or if we do use the incendiary damage relic, we might be able to push through enemies that resist. All right, I'm gonna go look for this borderland symbol here real quick. I'm gonna be back. All right, we found it right here. Okay. Oh, that like that. That's the one right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And the question is going to be. Is it going to be worth it? I think it is. I think it is. Oh, I didn't grab that power up. Candle racks crack. Okay. This is where we test our might, our strength, our passion, our desire, our commitment to victory. All of those things. Everyone must die. Where's my reload speed? Okay. If we can get through this electrified witch doctor, I'll have faith in us. Oh my gosh, we're getting through. We're getting through. Oh my gosh, the damage is unreal. Okay. Nice. So good. Yes. Oh my gosh. Get him. Kill him. Don't let him get off the ground. Nope. Absolutely not. This is probably this as far as raw damage goes raw damage This might be my highest my highest damage run ever And our survivability is gonna come from the elemental elation and things like that Get the eggs brother We get the eggs Okay, let's go Once I get scorn then I'll be able to slag up everything as well. Whoa chill out homie you resist? You might resist, but you're not going to resist once I get through the shields. Yeah, see you later. Good try. Not bad. Not bad at all. A fibber? Don't think I can use that. So, let's go ahead and get one point auto loader. There we go. Scorn. I think I want to get to embrace the pain. So let's go metal storm and then embrace the pain is going to give us fire rate. It comes from Krieg. It's going to give us fire rate whenever our shields are down and look at our left side of the screen there. Shields are always down. Let's go. Now the okay, this is going to be tough because I think this guy resists fire. He definitely resists fire. Do we care is the question. It looks like we actually do care a little bit. Come on, get us there. Get us there. Get us there. Who's not, who next? Who's next to me? This guy also spawns a whole bunch of heat loaders. Yeah, yeah. I'm on trouble. Yeah, this guy's this guy spawns a whole bunch of hot loaders. Which is going to be a lot harder for us to deal with. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. Hey, get off of me. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm in trouble now. I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, 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 run. I'm out of grenades. I'm all out of grenades. Don't die. Don't die. Don't get last framed or anything like that. No, okay. Well, actually, that's. I think that's better than... than. There we go. We're through the, one of the toughest resisting fire enemies in the entire game. Which is insane. Oh, Ruby. Okay, that is going to be a better left-hand weapon than this Malawan. Good in Ogre as well. It's a Slag Ruby, which is insane. Okay, max health plus 54%. Varuk or Electric Chair? Let's go Electric Chair. Metal Storm. Follow through. I still can't get Embrace the Pain. That's so sad. Let's keep going. Okay, so now it's SDU's time. Grenage, gotta, gotta max it out. Assault rifle, must max out. 
Let's do SMG as well for Nirvana. Pistol. Let's do one... Mm, one pull at the box, maybe? Homing Kazar and a Longbow Fire Leech. I think the Fire Leech would do us good. If we get, run to a fire enemy, please be Terramorphous. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, we could not have gotten a better pull. Let's go. Tier 3. We're, go we're going to Tier 3. We're going to Tier 3 with probably my favorite build of all time. Let's go. The toothpick, the mouthwash. The only thing we don't have is numb nerves for the damage reduction, but... We're looking good here. The ruby for healing as well. Oh, let's go. And that reloads. That reloads tough. I need to get. I, I have reload speed based on stacks of bloodlust. So like, my reload speed even now is pretty ridiculously long. That's okay though. We're doing okay as far as damage goes. Go ahead, Terra. If you not, if he, if Terra hits me, I'm just gonna go back into this wall. Not bad damage. Okay. Uh, so, the fire leech grenade and bada bing bada boom. Not bad. Interfacer. It's not elemental though. I need the elemental. Okay. Oh, we don't get extra points. I thought we got extra points there, but that's fine. Very, very nice. Oh, it's trivia time. Let's go. One of my favorite mini games. Let's see. Who cannot drop the legendary Northfleet? I'm gonna say... Hyperius. Oh, he can? Are you serious? Hyperius can drop the Northfleet? Okay. How many playable characters are there? Come on. That's not even close to... What does Claptrap call you, the minion? That first one's way, way harder. You would think it's Verm Vermivorous that can drop Northfleet, but maybe it's a trick question. That might be a trick question. Let's go. Okay, let's grab our Gub. There you go. And actually, the Gub is actually going to be a pretty good weapon for us here, I think. Yeah, I think I think the Gub is going to be pretty good if we run into an area where we need it. Yeah, let's go. I still haven't used the, the double middle finger... Uh, you know, family friendly. I don't want to be using it too much. But you drop this on him, and then, then you just light him up. You toss his grenades out, too, for the electric leech healing. Don't get killed by a Goliath Blaster or something like that. Here we go. Go, leeches, go. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got a lot of good healing right now. Okay. Use this. You duck under cover here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep. See you later. Good stuff. Keep it going. 12 out of 15, we march on. There we go. Just gotta make sure that we, we uh, hit our action skill twice. That's an easy round for us right there. Very easy round. Surgical Sloth? Sure, why not? So. Let's grab Follow Through. Now we can grab Embrace the Pain. Yeah, Embrace the Pain, then Grenadier for even more grenades, even more healing. Yeah, this is going to be good. Let's see. Hard carry? No, mine is better. Okay. 
I don't think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep farming. Let's just keep pushing. Era Nexus Badlands. This should be simple as well. Yep, very simple actually. Also, grenade out to start. Rabbit Scat. Okay, this is gonna be a good test of our damage right here. Oh yeah, we got damage for days. Damage for literal days. Okay, what do you got for me? Yeah, having the mouth mouthwash two pick combo. I haven't gotten it in a while. I'm excited to be using it again. Oh my gosh, it's just so insane. It's so much damage. Yes. Plus no kill like overkill with how much bonus damage we're doing. Oh, what's up, homies? One shot. Oh, rabbit skag. Come on over, homie. Come on down. The price is right. Go ahead, hit me. I have massive damage reduction. Bring it on. Get scorned. Scorned. Okay. Looking very strong right now. I'm not, I don't want to use the skyrockets. Let's go for Embrace the Pain, Grenadier. We're going to be looking good as far as like what we put our points into. Okay. Lobstorm front, hard carry, electric chair. I already have a lot of these. Keep it moving. I'm not rocking the Tunguska. I don't trust it. But then again, if it's good enough to kill me, I think it's good enough to kill enemies. I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Let's take it. Just don't shoot it. <laughs> hold. Hold. Okay. I don't see our gear getting much better than what we got right now. Okay. Let's go. Rough Rider, Mouthwash Toothpick, and the Legendary Berserker Class or Gunzerker Class Mod, whatever, whichever one I got. I forgot. Come on, let's go. No way. I just didn't get enough any damage down right there. We have a lot of damage when we go in the fight for our life, though. Later, Powder Monkey. Anchor Man. That's two downs in a row. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful now. Start toss tossing my leeches. Come on. Away from me. Not bad. We're definitely not invincible. Oh yeah, I think it was the deflection damage that was hurting me. Go down, go down, go down. We're losing stacks of bloodlust fairly rapidly, but... Seem to be okay. Nice, not bad. Yeah, how am I going down there? I mean, I know, I know there's a lot of enemies shooting at me, but still. Come on, leeches, go out and go about, go out and heal me up. Thank you. I can also, I can also just run around with the ruby and toss grenades out. That should keep me pretty well topped off until my gunzer comes back up. There we go. There we go. Got through that fairly easily. Now let's do smaller, lighter, faster. For the increased reload speed. Much faster. Kinda. Okay, let's go. Okay, Mad Mike. You better chill out here, bro. I am not messing around this time. You will not end my run. No, no, no. Not this time, you won't. Scorn. Dude, just chill out. I need to land some crits on him, but it's so hard. There we go. Now he's down. Go. Use my... Oh, God. Oh, I walked into him. 
Get slagged. Come on, get slagged. Get slagged. Get slagged. Go. Now we swap over. Don't get hit. Don't get hit too much. Don't get hit too much. Ouch. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. But lots of damage when we fight for your life, remember. Go. Yeah, there's a, if there was a build that could get through much last stronghold without dying, it's this one. Are you kidding me right now? Come on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Man, we are not tanky. Go. I wish I had the damage reduction. Are you kidding me right now? Dude, I just, I'm getting hit by so many things. I need to get my ruby out. Toss my leeches. Go, leeches, go. How? What? How in the world am I getting hit with so much damage? Okay. It should be slagged up and ready to get bagged up. Don't, don't do that. It's not good for your health, brother. Come on. Saving my... Saving my guns are for when Mad Mike appears. I think it's a good strategy for me. Okay, one more lad. We got Mad Mike. Go down, Michael. Go the bomber. Nice, okay, run for my life, just in case they're gonna blow up and I can't. I'm stuck. We're fine. Ooh, okay. We take him down. Let's do... Hard to kill. One, two. There we go. I think... Even more hard to kill. This is going to be my maximum potential build right here. No interspersed outburst, though. But I'm probably going to want to be rocking a ruby anyway. For healing, so we're going to have the slag. We don't necessarily need interspersed outburst, I don't think. Dragon keep. Should be a decent fight. Alright, let's go. Come on now. Let's, let's use an electric chair grenade to, to shred this guy's shields down. I'm not sure which one it is, but... Hey, not cool. And now we got some damage from... Scorn. Good. Very high damage. Not, not bad. We got him before he spawned in any more lads. Wrong. Okay, so for this next guy, I think it's going to be just a regular longbow fire leech. There we go. How's that? We'll get a kill. I think just getting one kill is going to really ramp up our damage quite a bit. So let's... These all resist fire. Oh, that's interesting. So we're going to have our first fire resistant boss coming up here. We're going to have to swap. Mm, come on, get off me. Okay. We're through. We are officially through. So this next guy is going to resist fire. Maybe just an interfacer? Interfacer with a pandemic? Who knows? I mean, maybe this could be good. Bust this lot out. Mm, that, that didn't do very much, did it? It's doing something. It's doing something. Not a whole lot. Do I have anything else besides an interfacer I can use? An ogre. How about an ogre? Yeah, because I have I have my assault rifle damage relic on. This is gonna be one of the toughest fights for me, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the tougher fights for me. And to grab this this lad right here. Aim at the boss. Aim at the boss. 
Stop hurting me. Uh oh, that's not good at all. Kill one of these dragons. Come on. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. Oh, I'm down again. I gotta be careful with that. Okay. Uh, okay. I cannot go down. Cannot go down. Cannot go down. Okay. Stay topped up. Stay top buff. Dang, we're not doing much damage to this guy at all. Ow. Come on. This is going to be a precursor to me against the fire dragon. Let's get one kill, maybe. Get one kill, get some kill skills. Wow, they not taking any damage. Like, basically none. Come on. I need to be aiming down. So, and I'm oh, okay. I'm going to go down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. We live? No, we don't live. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Look how fast my health is going down now. Come on. Give me that kill. Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. Woo-wee. Come on. Staying alive. Staying alive. These dragons are one-shotting me. Dang it. What can I do? I don't know. And I'm trying to deal damage to this boss. Maybe go open up some chests for some more grenades. I don't know. Yeah, they, they do too much damage to me. I'm a toothpick. I, I, it's just the only, only way. I need to clear these guys out the toothpick, I think. Oh gosh. They resist fire though. <laughs> what do I do? Um. I don't know. I think we might be doomed here. Infection, maybe? That's that's not going to get the job done. Come on, stop damaging me so much. I'm trying to depend on elemental empathy. Let's slap on max health. This is going to be war of attrition. Or health regen for a second. There we go. War of attrition. War of attrition. A little bit at a time here. Okay, I think I see some grenades over here. Nope, no grenades. Okay, I'm down. I don't think, I don't think I have stacking health or stacking fight for my life anymore though. Maybe, hopefully. Okay. Man, I don't know how I'm taking 90% of my health in one hit. I have a rough rider. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, it looks like my, looks like it reset. Okay, we're back. Come on now. Hit the boss up. Wow, that's the least effective, least insane. Yeah, holy cow. Come on. A little bit at a time here. A little bit at a time. It's got to be... Ogre's got to be better than that. Right? But the, the, the dot's healing me so much. Maybe a gub? I know it's not the most healing in the world, but it's got to be better than what I'm doing now. Give me that. Oh my gosh, man. I need to grab my, make sure my toothpick is actually available to me though for my, for, for my, my fight for my life's. Yeah, going down again. Can't stop it from happening. Even with all of my other healing and everything like that. These guys resist fire. I'm, I'm porch. I got no ammo. No ammo left. Yeah, this was a fight to the, to the bitter ends, but. At the end of the day, we just didn't have what it took to get through this this fire-resistant enemy. GG.
Well, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. It was a tough video. We, we did make a lot of progress and we had a lot of fun. But and in the end, I think we would have come up with a similar situation against the final dragon. So, see you in the next one. Bye.